Hey friends, let's discuss now a uh, new tip that uh, test is relatively a new test type of test that has been developed and um, it will be really interesting for engineers to go through this test. It's, it's called as dialectic discharge test. The dialectic discharge test is a relatively new test method that was developed by EDF, the National Power Utility of France and based on years of research while the other method mentioned measures the current flowing during the charging process. The dialectic discharge test measures the current that flow during discharge of the test sample. As such, it is not a pure insulation resistance but rather an adjunct to a traditional insulation uh, test. The charge that is stored during the insulation test is automatically discharged at the end of the test when the insulation test discharge resistors are switched across the terminal. So basically this is the new method and DD uh, the directed discharge measures current that flow during discharge of the test sample. So uh, normal testing uh, methods that we have discussed they are measuring the charging current or when you are applying the current and they are measuring the current when you apply the voltage there will be some leakage current which is some of uh, resistive current charging current leakage current surface leakage current or polarizing current all these things are major so all this process is when you are applying the voltage when the cable or uh, or equipment is completely charged and then you up you take the reading and then you are basically disconnecting the equipment and discharging it but the dialectic discharge test basically is the all the reading or measurement of and currents are measured while the equipment or the cable or the uh, part you are testing is discharging so it's kind of uh, uh, really a new method the rate of discharge depend only on the discharge resistor and the amount of stored charge from the insulation. However, the capacitive charge is discharged rapidly until the voltage across the insulation has reduced to almost zero. At that time, the effect of leakage current will be negligible. So only the reversal of dielectric absorption is left. This is known as dielectric reabsorption and is a mirror image of dielectric absorption. So when you are doing discharge test, what you are getting is a, a uh, you are discharging the equipment so basically uh, the leakage current will be negligible and there will be only a discharge current normally you are in uh, uh, when you are doing normal uh, dielectric testing you are getting absorption current but now it's kind of absorption current is now decaying so it's kind of reabsorption current that you are monitoring the capacitive current uh, quickly decays from high value with a relatively short time constant of few seconds. The absorption or reabsorption during a discharge current always starts at high level but has a much longer time constant up to many minutes. It is caused by dipoles randomizing their alignment within the insulation and the electron shell running to an undistorted shape. This has the effect of a current flowing if the discharge circuit is still connected or voltage reappear on the sample it is left open circuit. Rapidly removing the effect of leakage and capacitive current allows the possibility of interpreting degree of polarization of insulation and relating it to moisture and polarizing effect. So this is how it works basically.